Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating Viewmaster effect inside of a DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know about Viewmaster, it's actually a pretty old toy. I remember using it as a kid. So yeah, we will be creating something similar inside of this video. You can use this as a slideshow animation. Yeah, so let's get started so here i am inside of davinci resolve let's create a blank fusion composition drag and drop it to the timeline and i just want it to be maybe two second long so let's just trim that down and let's uh, go to the fusion page now the first thing we'll do is drag in a background node view this and we're gonna make it transparent this is just so that our composition is 1920 by 1080 if you want to change that you can go to image and just input a custom resolution over here it can be 2k 4k any resolution that you want uh, you might want to uncheck auto resolution before you do that the next thing you want to do is go to media pool and drag in an image so i'll be using this image and we can just uh, connect these two nodes up like so this result in merge one take a look at it and you can notice the resolution sticking resolution of the image we want to take the resolution of this background node so all you have to do is make sure that the background is coming in to this merge as a background this is coming in as a foreground as you can see in the tooltip so on the merge one right click click on swap inputs now the background is coming in as a background now what we can do is we can add in a rectangle mask to this merge one so here is the rectangle mask tool drag that in and we will connect it uh, to this blue triangle this is the effect mask now once you connect it it will look something like this we will increase the corner radius and change the width and the height you can just uh, you know use any width and the height for this and then if you want to change the size or the position of the image you can do that in the merge one itself so i'm going to just reduce the size and that should be it the next thing what i want to do is go this rectangle over here and i want to animate the soft edge instead of creating a keyframe after every frame and changing the value of the soft edge what we can do is we can use modifiers so right click on the soft edge go to modify with and we will use shake and if you play the animation right now you can see that uh, we have this animated soft edge right now we'll go to modifiers and reduce the smoothness and reduce the maximum amount as well we'll set this to 0 0.016 and now we'll have this uh flickering soft edge like so if you think it's too intense you can go back to modifiers and reduce uh, the maximum amount to something like 0 0.010 the next thing i want to do is i want to add in a prism blur so we have hit shift space bar on the keyboard and this will get the you'll get the slick tool uh, window just type in prism blur click on add view this it's gonna look something like this what i want to do is i want to create a blue border around the image and for that we have to go to settings and i'm gonna uncheck red and green and now you can see that i'm only left with this blue channel and this is exactly what i want I go to controls i can change the strength and all that stuff over here but i think the default values just look fine so i'm going to leave it there the next thing what we want to do is want to create a viewfinder transitions once you click or once you press the uh, viewfinder trigger or whatever you want to call it this brings that shutter in and transitions to other, other image so let's create that so for that we will use a background node connect it to this prism blur and if you take a look at this merge tool, it's gonna cover up the entire thing. And now we will just add in a rectangle mask to this merge tool. And what we can do is we can start animating it. So I'm gonna increase the corner radius a bit, for rotate the angle as well. And we will start animating it. So at the very first frame, I want this rectangle shape. Let's just increase the size so that it covers it up nicely. What I want to do is I want to sort of create a animation from top to bottom. I'm going to move it right over here, create a keyframe on center X and Y. And let's go to frame 10 since this is going to be a really quick effect. So let's just 
set it to 10 frames and just bring it back to the center so i'm gonna set this to 0.5 and 0.5 on both x and y and you will have an animation like this now what i want to do is i want to contain this rectangle mask inside this image so i can go to merge tool and have this operator over here i'm going to change this from over to in now this background node will only be visible in this image and i'm going to also go to the rectangle tool over here increase the soft edge quite a bit and you'll have a transition like this all right uh, but we kind of mess it up uh, that's okay we can click on this invert button and this will kind of uh, you know reveal the animation we don't want to close the shutter or close the view finder we want to reveal it we want to reveal this image basically the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to create a rotation animation so after merge 2 we will add in a transform type in xf to get the transform tool and we want to change the pivot position right now the pivot position is right in the center i'm going to change it to negative 0.5 and now you can see that the pivot is right over here if i now change the angle let me just view this transform first if i rotate the angle you can see that we have the rotation from that pivot if it was in the center if you change the angle it will just change it from that position so i'm going to set this to over here and let's create this animation on frame 40 actually let's go to frame 50 and create a keyframe on angle and let's go to the last frame and change the angle and move it down like so just want to make sure that the image is not visible we'll have something like this and you can go to transform one and enable motion blur as well here's the thing what i want to do is i want to contain this image uh, within a mask so what i can do is i can copy this rectangle and i'm going to paste it down below Control c Control v and just connect it to this rectangle one over here right so that will uh, make sure that the image is within this uh, rectangle mask now if you see this uh, border around the easiest way to fix this is by increasing the border width also remove the soft edge animation you can double click on it to remove any animation from here i'm gonna just increase the border width so that we don't have that border anymore around like so cool so now after this transform one you can add any uh effect to make it look uh like as if it's vintage so one of the effects uh, that you can use is i guess it's jpeg damage or something like that if i right click on the transform one go to insert tool and there is resolve fx texture yeah there is this one called film damage uh, that you can use and will make your um, image look like this i'm going to go to temperature shift i'm going to set this to zero and that's just about it and we'll add some noise and dust and scratches in the image which will make it look uh, as if it's old or vintage look um, cool and that is pretty much it then you can connect it to the media out and you have your uh, first slide done if you go to the edit page you can see the animation over here and you can see it's uh, kind of visible over here but we can fix that easily by going to the rectangle over here and actually let's go to the rectangle two over here and sort of move it up like that and that should fix it all right so have an animation like this now for the second slide uh, you can just hold the alt key and create a copy of uh, the fusion composition and let's go to the fusion page again and we will just replace this media in one let's go to the media pool and i'm going to replace it with this image and click on ok to replace it and if you view the media out your image will look something like this if this is happening and that's because of this merge one you have to change the size since this image was small that's why uh, we had this issue so make sure that it is bigger than this rectangle mask and that should fix it now on the second image we don't want to create a transition from top to bottom we want to create transition from bottom to top and for that we have to go to rectangle 2 and just simply go to the very first frame and just change the y over here so let's just move this down uh, like so and somewhere over here 
and then go to frame 10 and set this to 0.5 right so this will this should reveal our image from the bottom like so and then at the end it will have this rotation animation this is our first one and then this is our second image so what you can do is right at the rotation over here right at this frame um, you can sort of uh, move the second fusion clip and move it where the playhead is so you can do this uh, by simply just pushing it to the left and uh, you will have a nice transition like this right so if you play in real time you'll see that you have this really quick transition i think it just looks really good and you can even uh, speed up uh, the transition over here so if i just uh, select this rectangle to go to spline and i can just sort of uh, create some easing into this and uh, you know kind of speed it up like so if you play this right so maybe i'll just go to playback and set the proxy resolution to quarter maybe i can preview it much faster yeah that is much better so then you can repeat this process hold the alt key and uh, just um add in your third image i'm gonna nudge it to the left and this should be your third image so if i go to the fusion page and i can just simply swap the image and if i take a look at media out so i can go to the edit page and i can see my third image over there there you have it so i guess that is pretty much it that's how you can create this effect inside of davinci resolve i hope this was helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one